Coins, coins, coins! Wins, wins, wins! That's the aim of the game today as we sit down to play more Magic Stools. Ugh. I'm still, if anyone's watched a video of mine before, you'll have known that I've switched the green out and put blue in to the deek. Now, so far, I'm pretty happy with the way it's gone. Still effectively the same deck, except instead of Primal Hunt Beast, I've got some blue draw spells and Jace and uh, the Blue Gearhawk, whatever that's called. Flashy, flashy gear bells. Flashy gear bells is what its working title was called. That's how I remember it. Oh, Marky, Marky Rose Balls told me when we went to dinner, we went to KFC together yesterday, and I told him magic was shit, and it made him super Saiyans. And then I, then I thought it was funny. All right, well, let's just win this game, and I'll stop talking bullshit. We want coins. We want coins. If you're new to the Majiks. You can build a deck like this in a couple of weeks. Maybe three weeks. I think that's how long it took me. It's fairly competitive in a, in a mid rangey deck. Because you need to accept that you can't... Alright. Filigree Familiar was the original play. Now I think... Liliana is to play. Only because it has lifelink. But then... He's... Sure, he has answers to it. Maybe it wasn't the right play. I, I put this in recently because I put more small creatures in. I'm not entirely sure it's a good fit in my deck. But at this level, sticking any old planies is not the end of the world. Alright. I'll attack first, hold up unlicensed disintegration because it seems super weird to leave uh, a mana open for no reason. So I presume he's got some kind of penis pompedo spell, which is fine. Um, Alright. If he does have a pompedos, then playing unlicensed disintegration is not going to help. So we'll just do this. There's a way he could play another creature that put counters on this. Then take all the counters off and kill Liliana. But that seems like a waste of two cards to me. Alright, he's fairly exposed now. I think the play is to kill Tyler's Tracker. I've got an artifact so he'll lose three life. Then attack with these two. He can't kill anything. Seems good, seems good. Then I'll have combustible gear balls waiting in the wings. The wing ding dangs. Uh, I suppose I could tidy conclusion this. Use my mana more efficiently. Yeah. He won't lose three life, but he gives two shits. I think this is one of my all stars in my deck. It just so it does so many good things. Gain two life, which is good against almost anybody. Draw a card, also superb against anyone, and an effective blocker that you want you don't mind dying to protect your planeswalkers or anything else that's good. From beyond, we've got to win quicks. Got to win quicks. So we don't have to deal with no Ula boibs, Ula boibs or Oblivion boibs. <laughs> He's being pretty loose with those blocks. It doesn't make any sense now that he keeps leaving one mana open to save a 1 1 when he's taken such a beating. Uh, yeah, he's in the troops. Here we go, the reason I play blue. The reason I play blue! Torrential Gearhawk, that's what it's called. Alright, so I can flash in a Moida. I've got nothing to actually Moida. Maybe he could stall me out. How much mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah, that's not that's not a problem. 
So, deal three. Yeah, it looks good. He's going to have to chump block. Oh, now he's fucked. The Gear Hulks of Doom! Yep, I'll destroy that. Uh, it's not in the bag, mainly because I don't have a last minute kill everything spell. This man loves this piece of shit. What? What? It can do one damage to me. Even Oblivion So is not going to get the job done this time, I don't think. Six life, unless he gains life, at the very worst case, I can destroy a creature and then flash it back for him to take six. That's the plan. So, kill Drowner of Hope. And then flash it back next turn and kill something he can't sacrifice, hopefully. Okay, Whirl a Rogue. Give me two flying Thopoblops. Let's see if he finally gives up his Batista. If he gives up his walking Dave Batista, which he seems to love. He loves the Batistas. He's done it. He has failed to block a 6-6 six, six for three turns, but now blocking a 2-1. Two, one. A 2-2 one, a two, two seems fine. Um, do I spunk my Whirler Rogue? Yes is the answer because of the Torrential Gear Hulk. I suppose you could have destroyed all creatures, but doesn't change the plan, I suppose. This is a good card too. I don't see it played very much anymore because people have moved out of the Origins block of Essential Colds. Like a flashback of Haunted Hydra. Not going to do anything. Oh well, if that's his play then he's deed. Deed of the deed. Well, he's got mana. I suppose he could theoretically have fog or whatever the fog in this set is called. We'll see. I could use this ability to make something unblockable, but it seems pointless when this guy has menace and I've got so many lethal threats. <sighs> Alright, Pulse of Marassa to gain some life before he gains any life. Unlicensed disintegration to kill his last creature. And he'll lose three life. No problem. We did it! No gaining six life for you. Although I still think he would have died. We don't need to fuck about. Up to 16, gold rank, that means I'm officially a rare human being. Alright, let's play. Let's play some more. Let's rack up these coins. Rack up these coins! I opened some real paper Amonkhet cards today and I got myself a foil giddy bloibs. That is going straight in your mum's cleavage. Until your next turn, prevent all damage. Target permanent would deal. I'm not sure whether I should sell Gideon of the Trials right now or hold on to it because it looks like it might have applications in any kind of magic format. So I don't want to cash in now and then it turns out it's a vintage or legacy or even modern all-star and then I wish I had it. All right, this guy's already disconnected. So we have to play the computer, which is pretty shit. Um, nah, I'm not going to keep this. It's a pretty sexy hand if it works out. But if it doesn't work out, I'm going to look like a fool. 
Yeah, fuck it. Alright, this isn't any better. But we've got a potential turn three. Lily better. No, it's bullshit too. I'm not risking it. Alright. At least I've got lands, which is what I like. Still have a turn three Liliana, but not the one I would want. This guy ranked 19, quite high. He's got the. He's paid for some four, so for some sleeves. Paid for the sleeves, but not for the lands. So I don't know what to make of that. I assume he's got more cards at his disposal than me, but do I have more skill at deck building than he does? Who knows? His deck's being played by the computer, so. Don't know what to say about it. <sighs> yeah, you might have said keeping either of those two previous hands would have been fine, but they were off color. I hate waiting to draw. Mm, still got no red. So I'm effectively holding my bum cheeks. What is this that he discarded? Mm, it looks like he's playing energy decks. Which are not. Bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too good. I, if I, well, I've got lots of draws and lots of cards that enable me to draw. I, sh I, I might be okay. Now I think this is getting un burnt. No, oh, ether sphere shitness. Not bad at the moment. I've got no way of killing it. Oh, now I do. Do I? No, I don't. Because I didn't play my blue land. Oh well. Next turn. Next turn, I can start using my red spells. Do, do, do. Yeah, it does seem like an energy deck. This gaining him, what, three life a turn? It's going to undo all the progress I made. One, two, does that stay a one, two? Yeah, good. A good use for Twin Bolt. Oh, he can't crew this. I can. I suppose the computer is trying to bluff me, bluff my balls out. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I can outdo the computer in this instance. Attack. If he crews the vehicle, then disintegrate it. Hopefully, that one open mana isn't the hexproof cold. And it does look like it is. So that's all right. But now he's got one, two, three, four, five cards of action, and I my hand's very weak. So maybe it's not great. I might have to go for the ultimate backup and play Grave Digger, get nothing back, and then lightning, and then twin bolt it, so I can have a planeswalker. As you might expect, that's a bad plan. Is this the thing that triples in size? Mm. Yeah, that's not good. I could possibly die to this. So it gets plus. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in big shit. This thing, unless I draw another destroy target bumble squat, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> what is the play here? Do I run into this and then get it back with Gravedigger and then hope that my Gravedigger will die while Liliana's on the pitch? Nah, I don't think that's a good play. Don't think that's a good play in. I call the battlefield the pitch occasionally because I'm so used to talking about football. Multiforms. So the problem is he can pay one to give it plus two, but then while my twin bolt is on the stack, he can just revert it back to normal and I've lost my card. And he's only lost two energy, which is shitness. Plus it can fly, so it can kill my and it's just a, it's just a bad card, bad card for me. If I, unless I have Moida. All right. This 
See, it looks like I could twin bolt it, but then he'll just pay energy. I'm going to have to twin bolt this thing instead. I suppose I could hope that the computer doesn't know what it's doing, but that seems silly. Because if it does, then I'm fucked. Alright, this is bad. Yes. The way the board is at the moment, I don't even think this being killed and this and Liliana turning into a planeswalker is going to help. Because his multi form wanderer can turn into a five five or a five two flyer. Oh well. All my plans are in the bin now. I just have to hold my arse cheeks for about four turns. Probably draw five lands and that'll be that. <laughs> Telling time. I think, what have I got? Four gear hulks. That would do a good job. So I'm bound to not draw any of those. Obviously. OBVIOUSLY! Alright, one more turn. And then I'm deed. I never like using... Evolving Wilds. Even though it effectively thins your deck out, you also have to shuffle your deck. So if you think that you're likely to draw a couple of lands when you don't want to, or vice versa, if you think you're likely to draw a couple of spells. Sometimes it's not perfect to draw... No, I don't know how I'm getting out of this. I mean, Noxious Gear Hulk would kill this, and that would be that. That's about it, Noxious Gear Hulk. No good blocks. I say there's no good blocks. There are good blocks, but I'm so far behind. I don't think it makes any difference. If I don't draw a Noxious Gear Hulk, then I'm going to die. <laughs> totally forgot about that. <laughs> oh well. Was getting beat for ages anyway. Last game. See, that's the one thing I don't like, is that if there's a disconnect, you still have to play that game out. But I would have lost if that was a human. I mean, you get a benefit of playing a computer who most of the time is inferior to a real person. But that computer whipped my balls. I didn't think it had a specifically tight archetype. I mean, if it wasn't for that Wanderer, Everything would have been fine. Let's see what can we do in this game. Tap lands, but good spells. Okay. I'll start. I'll start with a Highland Lake in case I draw a Twin Bolt, or in case I need the Welding Spokes if I draw an Untap Land. Torrential Gear Hulk doubled up with Sasquilies. Not bad. Alright, we'll have the taps. That's not going to be fun to deal with. <sighs> but I can Welding Sparks it out. Assuming he doesn't counter, obviously. Playing a lot of blue. What is this? Mm, well, at least I can twin bolt that. I don't think it's worth the risk of waiting until next turn 
or waiting for him to untap to use a twin bolt. Now I'm out there. Let's, let me read what this card does. Um, yeah, there's just too many other things he could do. He could put a, a minus on this and have a, a brand new one of these. Which he could still have, but it looks like I'm gonna have yeah tap too many tap lands. So we'll get rid of that. Next turn we'll get rid of this, maybe. Then hopefully play Whirler Rogue to protect the Sahili Rai and work our bum cheeks back into this game. That's the plan. You've heard the entire plan. Uh, the only reason I don't like that is because. It crews a lot of stuff. And he doesn't need to tap out again. But I can't sit around doing nothing. I'm not going to Welding Sparks that. He can bring it back immediately. Not immediately, but you know, on the start of the next upkeep. That is very greedy. But if he knows he can hold up a counter, then I'm going to die. Whirler Rogue? If I can play Whirler Rogue, do I do it? I think maybe I I think maybe that's the play. Nope. Eat my shit. <laughs> Telling time never looks so useless. Alright. Well, he doesn't have a counter. That's not ideal, but Whirler Rogue and Gear Hulk can get me out of here, but I'm so far behind on lands now that it looks like I'm gonna die. At least smuggler, smuggler bug's dead. But I think I might be dead. At the very best, I'll be on two life or something like that. Yeah, I think just drawing, not drawing any lands has been the death of me. Essence extraction's not bad, but I mean, how long do I fuck about without drawing any lands? Nah. Could do essence extraction next time. Fucking hell. We need lands. I don't have any. I don't have a second red. But I don't know if I want that. I don't think I do want that. Plus, I can tell in time again. Okay, take nine. Then gain three. I'll play Whirler Rogue. Looks bad either way. Man, if I'd had that one land earlier, I think I might have been able to scrape my ball beanies out of this game. Uh, that's not a concern. Oh, eat my fucking shit. How can you not just top deck any lands for the rest of the world? Also, it makes Whirl a Rogue not work anymore. No, I think I'm just dead. Yeah, fuck it. Now what a ball's end. She, she just lands, fucked me up. Alright, I'll play some more on a different video. Boy balls, my boy balls.